Hey, quick one for you today. I often get asked about how we physically do cohort analysis, right? For both e-commerce shops like Shopify or SaaS businesses, you always want to know, you know, what what did buyers that came in from a given marketing channel, how did they perform over time, right? How many orders did they make? What is their lifetime value, et cetera? What's their quality of, of customer? Um, so I wanted to quickly dive into a little SQL model that we use, you know, for both e-commerce shops and SaaS businesses in BigQuery to physically do this cohort analysis. Um, you can do the same thing in Sheets, but as I'll show you right now, in BigQuery, it's just a few lines of code and it's much, much more powerful. So here we're looking at a SQL query. This will be, this is part of a DBT project. Um, this one's for a an e-commerce business, but you could do the same kind of technique for a SaaS business as well, or really any type of business that has recurring purchases. So um, we'll have, this is kind of like a table that contains all of our orders, right? And the really fun part about this is we can build what we kind of call like a power pack of dimensionality that allows us to calculate aggregate metrics for that buyer across all of their orders from within our, you know, kind of big orders table. So crucially, we can filter out um, a user's, you know, acquisition channel and platform if we're talking about like paid media. Um, when was that first order, right? Their first order date. How much did they spend on that first order? And that's all using these, you know, window functions that we see here, all of these first value functions, you know, across the window. And we can do the same thing for lifetime, right? So down here we have a buyer's, you know, lifetime revenue for a specific product, right? Or lifetime revenue overall. And this is very easy to do. We're just basically aggregating up, you know, all of their spend over the window. So it's we can both calculate, you know, kind of first order attributes for cohort analysis, as well as, you know, lifetime attributes for cohort analysis, all from within, you know, the same, you know, let's say 10 to 15 lines of code here. And we can tag every single order with these same attributes. And that's why this is so powerful. We can just pivot by all of these attributes when we're doing cohort analysis without having to calculate them again anywhere else. These attributes are just available to us in any of our reporting, any of our analyses, they just kind of come out of the box. Um, so that's why we love doing this in BigQuery. Hope that's helpful. Have a good one.